Jan, um, I take it that means the business is going well, that you're increasing capacity so much. What kind of growth are you expecting in terms of revenue? Well, Matt, it is indeed a very special day. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm here at Fincantieri Shipyard in Italy, and we're celebrating special construction milestones for three of our ships across two shipyards on one special day, Valentine's Day. Yeah, indeed. I wanted to ask you about how bookings are going. I understand that January and February, good morning to you, Jan, January and February are referred to as the wave season because this is when you get so many bookings at the start of the year, gloomy in the Northern Hemisphere, of course. So what do bookings so far this year tell you about how the rest of the year is going to go? Well, I think I'll leave the bookings report to the earnings call, but what I can share is today at Princess Cruises, we are very optimistic about our future. With five new ships on order in the next six years, we're seeing increasingly consumers all over the world investing in experiences rather than things and understanding that vacations are essential to their health and well-being. What are you, uh, what are you feeling in terms of cost right now? We've seen the crude price rise a bit. How much um, more do you expect to have to pay for diesel? And how much more are you having to pay for people? Obviously, that's a huge cost for a cruise line. Right. We certainly have many costs, including fuel and um, pay for our people. Uh, but as you know, each year we have unique challenges. Fuel is a, a, quite a big piece of our cost bar. But that said, we're continuing to invest in amazing new technologies, new experiences for our guests, and we're seeing very high repeat rates among satisfied guests for Princess Cruises. Can I ask you, uh, uh, Jan, uh, the, the, your take on the global growth story at the moment? We spend a lot of time, of course, asking CEOs and, and other business leaders about how strong their businesses are. Where do you see any weak spots, any, any areas of the, of the globe that currently worry you? Oh, I think every year we see various um, opportunities and challenges around the world, uh, whether it's geopolitical, climate changes and the like. But one of the beauties of our business is that our ships are mobile assets and we can move them to meet the, and make supply and demand meet in unique ways around the world.